You know, one of the major things in a brake system is the master cylinder itself. All cars have master cylinders on them. There's hardly any type of a vehicle that doesn't have a master cylinder on it that houses the brake fluid that will supply the rest of the system with brake fluid. And this is one of the most important pieces because it does do that. Um, and people seem to have a problem trying to bleed these things out. And for you out there that don't know that, when you buy a new master cylinder, this thing needs to be bench bled before it gets put on the car. What that does is it kind of gives you a little bit of a head start to bleed the rest of the system. So you manually bleed this on the bench first. A lot of these master cylinders come with these little cool kits that allow you to bleed it a little easier. And I'm going to show you how that's done. Pull the lid off of it. Get a good quality brake fluid and make sure you use that. You can use the DOT3. There's silicone fluid out there, depending upon your needs. Um, you can use different fluids. But this kit comes with this neat little hose arrangement here. Kind of stick these little deals in there. And they're universal. So this way you could use this kit on any master cylinder. Gives you this little bridge. You take these little hoses and stick them in there. And the idea here is to bleed it and get all the air that's inside of this master cylinder out of there. So this way when you put this thing on the car, you're not putting air into the system down to the wheel cylinders. You're putting brake fluid down into the system. All right, once you got your setup on there, make sure you have your hoses down deep inside the cylinder itself. Pour some good clean fluid in there. It's real important when you're working with brake fluid to not get it on paint. This stuff will eat your paint up, man. Uh, the other thing you want to do is make sure you put the cap on the, on the container because brake fluid uh, will evaporate. If you leave this thing with the cap off it, you come back a month from now, half the fluid will be gone. So make sure you put your cap on your brake fluid. Um, get a screwdriver and go to the back of the master cylinder where the normal rod from the car would go in and slowly start pushing on it. And you'll see air rising to the top and bubbling out. And what you're doing is you're forcing the fluid into the master cylinder through those hoses and then back into these little reservoirs. And it might take you a while. You see how the fluid's starting to come through these lines? You see all those little air bubbles that are in there? You want to make it to the point where there's no air bubbles. Now usually it's the forward bowl or the forward reservoir that bleeds out first. That one there is the easy one. It's the back one. That one will take you quite a few pumps to get it purged of any type of air. You can see back here that we're starting to get the air bubbles to come to the top on this back one. The front one we're pretty much done with. Just keep pushing it because it's going to take you a while. Sometimes if you give it little short bursts of pumping here, the bubbles will come out faster. But the rear reservoir, it's been my experience that they always have more air than the front ones. And sometimes I've stood here at the bench for a half hour until finally I got all those air bubbles out. So that's the trick. Just keep pushing it in and out until you see all the air bubbles come from the top of here and you see a clear um, flow of fluid come through this line. Now if you don't have this little kit, if it wasn't included in yours, they give you caps that'll do something similar to it where you cap off these things and it'll draw the fluid in. But the most important thing is to make sure you don't have any air bubbles coming to the top and when you push it, immediately when you push on this thing, brake fluid will start squirting out of there. So make sure that this whole master cylinder is well bled before it's put on your car this way when you do start pumping it to bleed your wheel cylinders you're way ahead of the game fluid will go down to your wheel cylinders you bleed your wheel cylinders out starting from the rearmost wheel cylinder and working your way forward and you should be fine